Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video and before I start I want to give a massive shout out to ML Performance for providing some of the products that you'll see today, so let's get started. So again, a massive shout out to ML Performance for providing me today with this Masata strut brace. I'll put a link down in the description for both ML Performance and Masata themselves. So this is going to be a mock up, so this is the strut brace itself and what these are used for essentially is that they go on top of both suspension strut towers and it stops I believe flexing, I might correct myself later in editing but what this is going to do is it's going to bolt on both sides obviously this is very rough what I'm doing but essentially this is what it will look like once it's finished. So one thing that you can start doing is you can start taking off the rubber seal on top of the strut towers and this is done by simply you can remove the plastic piece of trim here and just slowly start wiggling it off and there's just going to be a little push clip here you just pull the top out and then it comes undone like that. so just to give you a closer look at the push clip it'll be like that, it'll be seated so that the pins are spread and all you have to do is just get your fingers in between pull it up, that loosens it and then you can take this rubber seal straight out like that and I'm just going to tuck it under the trim like that right so the next thing is to remove these two bolts here top of the strut tower now I haven't got a breaker bar so I'm just going to be using a torque wrench just to slowly slowly loosen these Not much force that goes into it and then these should simply just unscrew like that right. And now I've removed both them screws, we can move on to the other side now. So now the best thing about the other side is that you don't need to remove any trim whatsoever. It just comes straight out because you can get to both bolts. Right, now what I do recommend doing is, that, I don't know if you can see this, but there is some, I don't know what, I don't know, it'd be class as corrosion probably, and obviously that means that there might have been some thread lock or something like that on the bolt in the past, which I'm going to reapply with some more in a bit, but for now I'm just going to clean up the bottom, you can already see how much better that looks. And all this is, is just some abrasive, I think it's called just an abrasive pad from Halfords. And all you have to do, spin it around a bit, and that looks tons better. And that just cleans all the thread up as well. As opposed to the other one. It's, uh, as you can see, it's a bit of night and day, about the difference. So, that should look much better now. These might end up getting painted 
in the future I might take them off and uh, paint them black just to basically just not be much of an eyesore but for now these will have to do. Right so what we're going right, so to do now is just install the shot face and as you can see there's two bolts here that we know of. The third one I believe it's just like a locate point. So all we have to do is attempt to place both sides on just that little locate point. And once that's done we can start screwing it down. Now I have just realised something and not on the other side but specifically on this side if I just zoom in these wires here actually don't let the bar sit flush now after looking on the Mistrata website all you have to do is take them off like that turn it round and push it back into the hole and apparently that is enough to sort everything out and keep the bar sitting flush right so what I said earlier about not having to do this side I was actually wrong and in the process of trying to move the clip I've actually broken it but I found out that you can get a zip tie like this put the clip back into the hole Obviously get the way that you want to zip tie up and just secure that in place onto the clip. Now I didn't know you could do this and reuse these clips but it's a good job that you can. Right so I just have been having some fitment issues specifically with both mounting points on top of the strut towers. However I've just watched a video on someone else who was installing another kind of strut brace and in their video they've just said well loosen these and i was like surely not though but look how much room that gives you for adjustment adjustment just by unscrewing these two and this bolt here i didn't know that i was honestly i was getting so frustrated that i was going to send this back and i'm glad that i just watched a simple youtube video about how to install one of these and in there they just went, oh yeah, just undo these and it'll be all sorted. Like, oh god, so much hassle, nothing. So what I'm doing now is I'm just simply screwing these in. Just to, just finger tie it, I'm not doing them, I'm not talking them up yet. I'm just screwing them in finger tie And this is just going to hold it in for the time being and keep it all in place when I just want me to put some thread lock on. So all this, obviously you can see, it's not gonna be like this, I will tighten it all up. But for the minute, this is all in its correct position and everything. And you can get a rough idea of what it's gonna look like before I've tidied it all, it all so up. this is what the strut brace looks like. Obviously, everything's still pretty loose. So that's not what we want. We want it to be somewhat tight. And also, I'm tightening these down because as I'm rattling this, obviously the bolts are coming more and more loose, and we don't want to lose them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around each uh, bolt, well, just through the strut tile ones, and I'm going to put some thread lock on them, and then I'm going to start tightening them down fully and up to spec, just so that I know these are connected properly, and then I'm going to be tightening these down as well. So. If none of you have used thread lockers before, I'm just going to give you a quick look at how to use it. And it's fairly simple. Like, I'm using, obviously, thread locker blue. Because if you use the red stuff, yeah, yeah that stuff's like permanent. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put small little bits onto the bolt. So let me see if this will focus. And all you do is you simply just squeeze some thread locker, and you don't need a lot by the way, 
Just need a fair amount onto the bolt. It's a bit too much, but just enough like that. And then I'm just going to go in and start tightening it up to the point when it hits the thread. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this whole side down, even though I haven't done the other bolt. I'm going to tighten this bit, uh, this screw down here. Uh, bolt, sorry. I'm going to tighten this bolt down and then I'm going to move on to that one. So, you want to go easily. You don't want to tighten it up too much. You want to make sure that this is still pretty loose. So you can tighten it upside down. So I'm just going to leave it like that for a bit. And then I'm simply just going to yeah, get this one out. Like that. And then we'll do the same with this. So again, what we're going to do, get the bolt, put on a tiny bit of thread locker, or thread lock, whatever you want to call it, like that. Just put it on the other side as well, like that. Let that soak into the thread for like 10 seconds. And then we can start threading that into the hole, like that. And then start slowly just tightening it down. And now that side's secure, so let's move on to the other side. Alright, so now I'm just going to tighten down all these, all these bolts here, just to secure the whole strut, place in, uh, strut brace in place. Um, one thing that I've unfortunately done wrong, which wasn't to the spec of the uh, strata, is that I've accidentally torqued the uh, strut tower bolts up to more than 30 newton meters. So that's one thing I've got to keep an eye on, just in case that has any effect, which it shouldn't. But just in case it does, I can watch out for that. That should not move. So now that the strut brace is all installed, I think that the engine bay looks 10 times better than before and I think it just adds that little sportier feel to the car that it just needed. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video and also check out my links in the description for both ML struts and ML performance.